So good evening again to every one of you. We are on um, the 10th of Feb, Saturday evening, 5 o'clock. As always, our usual masterclass evening weekend session to be precise. We take a look at the index first and uh, talking about the Nifty. Well, Nifty is creating a range for itself. It has created a range for itself. Within that range, there's a fair bit of volatility, choppiness, drama, breakout failures on the upside, breakout failures on the downside, recently a retest of the all-time high and immediately coming down. So it's, it's all over the place. Uh, three day up, two day down kind of a situation. If we read the internals, we can see it's in an uptrend. The momentum is okay. It's, it's not emphatically down. It's not strongly up either. So it's just um, as confused as the underlying short term trend of the index is. There's no problem with the long term weekly charts. The, the, the weekly charts momentum is definitely cooling off. So <clears throat> if we come and take a closer look at the daily uh, price formations on the nifty spot daily time frame i do notice that the haikanashi candles have started to deteriorate i do notice that the momentum indicators have just started to slow down uh, of course the 75 minute time frame has opened up <coughs> clearly on the downside so view is uh, in terms of direction the view is uh, is non directional in terms of choppiness, it's likely to stay choppy and volatile unless I think the index gives a decent structural directional breakout from this particular range. Um, 22K on the upside, um, 21,200 kind of on the downside. So we've got a pretty decent uh, range within which the index is very likely to oscillate. So strategically, a short term trader will get trades on both the direction of the market on the upside, probably also on the downside. And I think the trader needs to take them both because you never know from which way, which sector, which theme is going to play out. At the current juncture, what I see for the nifty uh, spot, a move below Friday's low will only bring in more probability and possibility of further downsides towards 21,400 and maybe 21,200. Will this happen? It all depends whether it breaks below Friday's low and whether it breaks below Friday's low and stays below Friday's low or not. If we happen to see this on, on Monday, then yes, for the rest of the week, brace yourself for some weakness. On the other hand, index can uh, offer a bounce back, but in that case, the bounce backs will not have much merit and strength to it unless 22k is taken out so <clears throat> stock specific theme sector specific movements is likely to continue choppiness volatility will continue this is where you go extra careful cautious and agile don't sit on your trades for long ask us personally we have taken few trades and just because we sat on it for an extra day the good profits just dissipated. So the right word would be hit and run, just hit and run kind of an approach and uh, continue your trace like that. Um, <clears throat> coming to the uh, CNX 500 and we do see that um, the index has cooled off a little bit. The index seems to have been forming some kind of a four bar divergence with some momentum slowdown. So that bit of a sign of slowdown is there in 500. Mid cap, small caps are relatively much more stronger, but Friday's range has expanded for the small cap and the mid cap. So it seems like at the high levels, there's a bit of, bit of selling. It's too early to call a top for the small cap, too early to call a top for the mid cap. So expect this kind of volatility to continue. Before I go to the rest of the sectoral indices, I would like to bring your attention to the RRG graphs using the stock charts. Now, RRG graphs, if you're not aware of it, is essentially a sectoral uh, rotation of relative strength or uh, a rotation of the relative strength of the sectors to be precise. I'm gonna, not going to go too deep into the formations of these graphs, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the table from a one week's perspective, sort it out, and I can see that healthcare was the biggest gainer last week. I'm sorting it out in terms of one week, followed by oil and gas, OMCs, Reliance, and all those have been on a run. 
media has managed a bounce back. Uh, real estate, and then you come with the Nifty mid cap 50, a bit of auto, and then IT. These are the meaningful gainers. And on the downside, it is CNX Finance and FMCG. Sadly, FMCG broke down. It was forming some kind of a some kind of a base. Rest of the sectors have been predominantly negative. Now, what bothers me is the fact that majority of the tail, now this is where the RRG comes into play, are red. Means most of the sectors are lagging vis-a-vis -vis the CNX 500. So let me expand the one week tail and uh, let me just expand it to say like uh, a quarter, let's say 12 weeks. And if I kind of fit it across, then over here we see that clearly, uh, barring Nifty, consumer durables, bank Nifty, finance, FMCG and media. Now media doesn't matter so much, it does not offer a lot of weightage. Consumer durables, FMCG, yes, definitely, the consumption story. And then you have Fin and Bank Nifty. So two pockets definitely comes out. The FMCG consumption, consumer durables, and the banking and finance. These are the two which has been predominantly been really weak over the last uh, quarter's time. <clears throat> I can see the Bank Nifty hovering at the lagging end there. CNX Finance, very, very similar looking kind of a RRG graph. Consumer durable stuck up here and then FMCG also down here. What does this tell us? This tells us one factual evidence that over the last quarter, these sectors have underperformed. Number two, what does this mean? Does this mean that it's going to uh, improve? Well, no, this is a sign of weakness. For FMCG, for consumer durables, for bank nifty, as well as CNX finance. Now, RRG graphs tells us whether this particular sector is lagging, is improving, is leading or weakening. It does not tell us about the direction in which we can anticipate. So now that we know the bank nifty and financials are relatively weak, it is our duty that we go to the bank nifty and CNX finance chart and try to make some sense out of it. So here we are on the bank nifty chart and we can clearly see that it is in a downtrend. The weekly chart is in a downtrend. The weekly momentum is on the downside. Last to last week, it was a green HAGB. It was a bounce back, which this week it has kind of opened up on the downside. This is not good. This is sign of weakness. So if you if we get a fall, if we get a move below Friday's low, definitely this index is opening up for further downside. No doubt about it. If we see a move below Friday's low, <clears throat> last week's low, does the daily chart corroborate? It seems so. Clearly the trend is down. The momentum is also again picking up on the downside. Strong high can actually opening up. We had a decent bounce back the last trading session towards the afternoon. But was that a trap? Will we see an extension of this move on Monday? Or, or, or is the index likely to open down? Taking a look at Bank Nifty from the point of view of trend momentum, taking a look at CNX Finance from the point of trend momentum. Let's quickly take a look at consum uh, consumer durables, both in terms of trend momentum. Uh, over here, the trend, the momentum is down. So it's again, not a very pretty picture. And then coming to FMCG, taking a look at FMCG, both in terms of trend and momentum, and also in the weekly time frame, the momentum. These four pockets of consumer durables, FMCG, finance and bank nifty, they have been weak and it looks like they are likely to stay weak. Now within them, I think bank nifty, uh, CNX finance can offer you some trading opportunities on the downside. I was hopeful that this green HAGB will uh, allow some kind of a bounce back for the CNX FMCG as it was, as it is close to weekly highs. No signs of that. So do not look to go long on consumer durables, FMCG, banks and finance. Do we look to go short? Uh, if we get any good trading opportunity within this, uh, any of the stocks within these pockets, then yes. Okay. Now going to the upper end of this uh, RRG, we do definitely see some bars where the tail is positive, means these indices are relatively stronger. Oil and gas, definitely yes. 
reality will be interesting to discuss i'll come to this chart metal now this is something which can make a difference and i think this is also extremely interesting <clears throat> out of these four stocks where the tail is positive which in other words i mean to say that they are all leading indicators oil and gas had a great run correct it is a too good to be true kind of a move that we can see in the um, oil and gas or the cnx energy pocket you'll see a great looking weekly chart a beautiful looking daily chart trend momentum all intact no signs of divergence no signs of slow down per se so bullish but will it be foolish to chase longs at this juncture or not i would suggest not to so looking even at the rrg graphs it looks fairly stretched in terms of the momentum the momentum is right up there so oil and gas strong yes but i don't think it makes sense to buy at these levels reality is uh, going through a vertical drop this vertical drop is in terms of the relative strength momentum it means that the index is really really strong but the strength is losing a bit of momentum in other words it may slip to the weakening quadrant so for those who don't understand rrg graphs this graph this movement essentially functions in a clockwise manner from leading to weakening to lagging to improving now this does not happen in a beautiful clockwise manner in between there can be lot of a uh, volatility lot of so it can go up and down and then go down again but eventually it will move like that theek hai for example if you want to take a look at the real estates let's say last 30 weeks uh, movement see this is how the last 30 mo- weeks have moved for cnx react i want to play it again see from weakening straight to leading now again coming down so from weakening it actually did not go to lagging from weakening it bounced back again to leading so do not always expect ki ha um, uh, leading se niche aa raha hai to ye to lagging mein hi jayega weakening mein hi jayega not necessarily so for that we need to take a look at the real estate sector uh, index once what do we see now one thing that clearly strikes me is the index has dragged itself back to its previous high and it's probably forming uh, some kind of a decent looking what pattern traders will tell you a double top the double top is not complete it will only mean a fall below 820 for this fall to be complete for this double top to be complete elements strong trend momentum is slowing down a bit strong trend momentum is picking up so it's fine it's it's not that bad it's the weakness of momentum which is causing the rrg graphs to drop down this drop down so same category like oil and gas this one should not be looking for longs here unless you're doing intraday that's a different story but oil and gas and reality you should not be it's the metals and it that catches my attention more because it has room for relative strength metal has room for relative strength now you take a look at cnx metal nice chart uptrend momentum is going down okay nice ch- uh, chart or uh, trend on the upside momentum is a little bit slow down but structurally very very strong beautiful structure on the upside and i think that metals can continue the rally and i also do think that it can also continue the rally the rrg graphs also kind of to a lot of extent supports that theek hai so it metals if we get long opportunities that's not bad oil and gas i think we should shy off we should shy off from real estate and we'll keep an eye on the on the banking financials for any kind of a shorting opportunity coming to the rest of them which is healthcare it's kind of stuck here it's not going anywhere and then you have the auto which is essentially weakening we'll quickly take a look at the sectoral indices cnx auto so cnx auto has just come off for last two days a little bit of slowdown momentum is going down a little bit but predominantly positive we need to be little careful uh pharma <coughs> if you take a look at then pharma has created a red hhgb i can see a two bar divergence it's a classic contra setup very very strong weekly charts so i don't think pharma will give us any kind of serious correction it can cool off a little bit below friday's low maybe because of this red hhgb predominantly pharma is positive 
predominantly metal, IT, they are also positive. Real estate and energy is also positive, but they are stretched and we would shy away. On the other hand, we can see some weakness in the banking and the financials. Um, and maybe we need to be selective here uh, to find any kind of an opportunity on the downside. Quickly reverting back to one week just to check that <clears throat> on the downside it was financials, bank nifty, nifty, small caps has started to drift a little bit. We will keep an eye closely on the IT and the metal pack if we get any kind of opportunity on the upside or not. Before I move on to your ideas, uh, your questions and trading opportunities for next week, I'll just uh, wrap it up by saying that Nifty has gone uh, non-directional. Nifty has caught up a lot of choppiness and volatility. Nifty will be more uh, sector, theme, stock driven behavior rather than a, a one way complacent run up or uh, fall down. So fasten your seat wheels. The market is going to go more wilder and choppier and we need to adjust ourselves accordingly. Okay. Okay, so now let's check what all questions you have and what all trades we can add to our list for next week. <clears throat>